if there's one thing that I live for, it's those kids, and my number one job is being a father. One Winnipeg City Councilor was driving with his kids during council meeting on Thursday. This has now led to some serious questions on how these councillors should be participating in these meetings. St. Boniface Councilor Matt Allard was participating virtually during Thursday's council meeting, but at one point he was caught driving during delegation. Speaker Debbie Sharma pointed to this out. Councillor Lard, if I could just ask you to maybe disconnect while you can get back to your desk. I've just been alerted to that. Allard responds. Madam Speaker, uh, I am in my seat. Um, my daughter currently unmuted me. I, I don't know that there is any order or rules of order or procedure other than being in a seat. Allard defended his decision. He says he picked up his child from daycare and shouldn't be forced to leave the meeting, but Sharma was worried about his safety. It's always been in the seat. Um, I know remote brings... What kind of seat yeah, it's are okay. we talking about, Madam we Speaker? Will, we will talk oh. later. Please uh, drive safely. That is the priority. Allard telling City News Sunday that he followed council protocol and the rules of the road, including the Highway Traffic Act. I set up my hands-free device and uh, got my car and the meeting continued. And it was an important in the meeting where it was mostly speakers so people were speaking and uh and i knew that i didn't have to interact with uh with the speakers other than than to listen some city councillors spoke upon this subject during the meeting including councillor sherry rollins when i see someone driving during a meeting i just think that that's distracted driving madam speaker and so i i wanted to point that out deputy mayor marcus chambers also weighing in providing a statement to city news quote i recognize the very important role he plays as a single parent and the important role he plays as a city councillor. It's difficult to serve two masters, so one must choose to either fully participate in the meeting or disconnect from the meeting and focus on transporting children to and from. Slander and libel are par for the course in politics. Like, you expect it, you know what you're getting into, people saying things about you that aren't true. But when somebody questions your integrity um, as a father, that really makes me angry. Allard says he wants to see change and rules clarified going forward. There's a lot to review especially with COVID-19 and public health rules and now um, tele telework that we see happening, not just at council, but everywhere. In Winnipeg, Alex Kerber, City News.